we're back guys um <clears throat> i did say i was gonna do maybe a tropical fruit uh video this time but i i just have so many citrus since it's like citrus season that it's you know i've got some other stuff to show you guys so uh today what we got is a few different more hardy citrus okay this one is a citramello times changsha fruit right here citramello times changsha that's the bottom of it like that um, it is, um, I guess about the size of a mandarin, bigger, like taller. We got, this is a Clemuse 2-2, pretty fruit. This is a complex, it's a yuzu times orange times trifoliate. So here's the bottom of it here, and that's what we're looking at. And we got this one, it's a uh, Taiwanica. So I can already tell you the best one, best tasting one is going to be this one here. It's a Clemuse 2-2. Maybe we'll save that for last just to clean the palate after we taste all these other ones. <clears throat> So, okay, so we can start with this citramello times Changsha. And um, let's cut it open. It's got a nice, like, normal citrusy scent to it. That was how I was cutting, cutting it. Pretty cool inside. Um, it's a bunch of seeds here in each in each segment. Let's go ahead and taste it. Put the seeds right there. <clears throat> it's pretty um pretty sour. Pretty sour, but. I don't taste a lot of off flavors. This is like if you're eating an, a lemon that's like concentrated. It's like a two times lemon concentrate. Not bad. I mean, this is, um, I don't know, I guess the case with almost all these citrus hybrids, these um, hybrids, these hearty hybrids, it's almost all of them are gonna be kind of sour or citrusy. I mean, uh, sour or tart. Um, the only thing you're looking for is, um, just trying to get away from that skunky flavor and the resin. And this one doesn't have either, any of that really. It's, it's kind of a step up from, um, a citramello, but a step down from a changsha. Changsha is sometimes insipid, which maybe is kind of mellowing out the citramello flavor, although... It still tastes like a, a lemon that's kind of cranked up. So here's this one. Kind of a nice yellowish, almost seemingly start, seemingly to start to turn orange kind of flesh in there. So here's this one. <clears throat> this is the Yuzu times orange times trifoliate. Let's cut this one open. It's got quite a bit of a really bumpy grind to it so it's actually pretty similar to the the citramello times changsha but it's going to be hard to tell in the camera. You can see it has more of a, more of an orange kind of hue or tint to the, to the flesh. I guess there was that, that's where the orange comes in. So it's very slight, but in person you can tell. Then we'll try it. Here's the seed, what the seed looks like. 
pretty small. I'll give it a try. All right. <clears throat> this one, um, this one has a little bit of a, a slight bitter end on it. Um, the citramella times Chang Shaju is just um, sour, like a lemon. This one has a meat meal. Let me try it again. Maybe I got some of the rind. That's why. Let me try it just to try to scoop out a little bit of this flesh. Yeah, this has a little a tad, a tad of the bitter um, on it, like a bitter orange. Um, but it's not, it's not bad. Um, honestly, uh, the other day I, I took some of these and, um, uh, made some citrus aid and with enough sugar, Splenda and some sugar and dilution, uh, it was good. Um, kids liked it. So this is not bad. Um, so at least there's no, there's not a little, there's no skunky flavor from like the trifoliate uh, that I can detect. Um, and there's a lot of seeds, but if you get past that, it's, you know, might be worth trying. I, you know, we could see if it might, might be worth seeing how, how much cold this would, would take. Um, Yuzu is pretty hardy. So let's put this one aside. And, and this one here, this is the Taiwanica. <clears throat> it has a nice, it's just a cool looking fruit. Uh, some of these are easily the size of an orange. This is like a medium sized one. And the, the rind, um, it's just a nice, clean, smooth rind to it. Um, I think in Japan, they let these sit on the tree uh, and then they hold for like for like a long long time I think they may even re-green or something I can't remember what the how, how it actually works out in Japan but um, let's go ahead and cut it open there's the bottom and then the top here it's pretty dense it's got some weight to it now cutting this First thing is you do notice there's kind of a, a skunky flavor to it, a scent to it. It's not that off-putting. Getting used to it. I stayed away from these for a while because the that that scent. It's almost like tar almost. Like when they're making a, they're asphalting a road. Very slight. Um, but I also made some um, citrus aid with this too the other day and it was not bad. So let's uh, taste it. He's got longer, bigger seeds there. Let's give it a try. It's got a lot more segments too than the other ones. So, <clears throat> sour, cranked up, um, a little bit of that skunky flavor there, um, and um, dogs are kind of fighting over there. Um, so, good looking fruit. It's a good looking fruit, really juicy. So this would be uh, pretty easy to juice and make some sort of juice out of it. Um, it's just kind of these things, with these hardy citrus, it's some of these, you just have to try for yourself. I know I'm trying to describe these to you. Um, a lot of what I'm describing is coming from someone whose tongue is a little numb to some of these 
sour and off off tasting fruit so it may be hard for me to to give a real um like common um description of how these taste and like most people like if my maybe my wife or my kids taste this they might say oh god it's so weird or whatever but um i mean this is i guess the best i can do as far as describing them here is the 2-2 now this one it's it's so easy to peel it's like you can just it's kind of like a satsuma um or like a kishu this is like a supersized kishu fruit but we'll um cut into it anyway So I can look at it, it's really juicy, tender flesh. Pretty, pretty fruit. Um, well, let's go ahead and try segment. Here's the seeds. Now, it is like a store brought bought citrus um, like one of those cuties but extra sour now but there's no weird flavors to it it's just kind of like like a like I mentioned it was just like one of those cutie mandarins that you would buy and um, just with the the flavor cranked up and then the tartness cranked up i mean this is definitely something you could eat, eat out of hand if you're okay eating kind of sour fruit or tart fruit it's not it's there's there is some sweet to it so very um it's good it's like of course it's going to be the best out of the three i just taste i uh, taste tested but um well if you can get it to grow this and Karaji and Nuclem, probably the top three. Le Mandarin's up there too. With Nuclem being probably the, Nuclem and Karaji are probably the best tasting ones. Uh, this is not too far behind. So keep an eye out for a Clem Muse 2-2 if you can get one. Um, I Mine was pretty big when it froze down. It was probably about at least 13 feet tall and I don't know, maybe 10 feet around or something like that. Unfortunately, that was one of my trees that was grafted really low and <clears throat> uh, didn't make it. I did have another one I grafted a little bit higher and it survived, but then I had problems with the rootstock. Um, just it, it caught some sort of disease or something and it, it died out, but it wasn't from the cold unfortunately so but I have it grafted out again so um, you know um, it's one of those things you you graft out cross your fingers dies back down and graft it out again and just hope for a few years that you can get it big enough to where you can start fruiting it again but I do have more citrus fruit this is it for this short little video and um, thanks for watching again